Right, so I'm going to do some insulation resistant tests, but first I want to use my meter and just check them all. Make sure everything's in all right, ready to test. So, I know this grey one, the grey two wires, so you can pass the winding. That's got 5.5 ohms. I'm not going to, I'm going to test that to earth. Might as well test both sides. So there's no connection to earth, which is good, but I'm not going to put insulation resistance test that because that's only a five volt winding, so I don't really want to be putting high voltage down it. I don't think it caused damage, but you never know. So just gotta find the other windings. So it's the top one. One winding is the top, the second row. Top. And the third row top, basically 1.3, so. So I'm going to test between this second one. Earth, nothing. And the third one, and earth, nothing. And then test between each other. Nothing. So that's good. Alright, so I'm going to do the insulation resistance now. So for insulation resistance you need your earth cable connected to earth I'll use the live for testing Alright, so I'm going to test between this top one and earth So on thousand volts then, so always check it. I'm gonna do it at 250 volts and then 500 volts. So, so greater than 200 mega ohms, which is good. Greater than 200 mega ohms, and then I'll do it between each other as well. So. Greater than 200 megrams, that's good. I'm going to go up to 500, do the same tests. Good. Greater than 500 megrams. Because it's higher voltage, the readings go higher. Greater than 500 megrams. So yeah, all the wonders on that test brilliant.